Welcome to EE698 Machine Learning for Signal Processing. Um, so this is the this is a course which we want to yes. So signal processing. What is signal processing? So of course I don't expect that people will come with a background uh, of signal processing but uh, if you know a little bit that is good so, what are signals signal is a function or a measurement that conveys some information so you know some structure in the measurement or in the function and you can extract useful information from that signal can we have some examples here? Yes. What is this? Speech or music or any audio file which contains a measurement as recorded by a microphone. And we can uh, process it in our computers or we can listen to it using headset or speakers. But this is a signal. This is a measurement made by microphone and it's a function of time. As the time is progressing, our signal uh, is, this, is, this consists of the readings of the microphone. Images, these are also signals. They are structured that in space and time. Then we have uh, communication signals. Uh, you know frequency modulation so you have frequency modulated with a modulating signal so you have a carrier signal which is which you see here this is your carrier signal and this is the carrier signal frequency modulated with the the modulating signal which is this one the frequency is large here frequency is smaller here frequency is larger here so it's a measurement Okay. Next, we have text signals. These are also signals which are uh, uh, which have a structure. They have uh, characters progressing one after the other, and they form a signal. Then we have power signals. In your grid or in your you all of you use plug points and these plug points carry voltages if you measure voltage in each uh, plug point or let's say if there is a three phase connection so in each phase you you measure voltages that is a signal and it conveys you some information and people can use it for different purposes then what is this this is eeg signals uh, the brain signals so the recordings are made on your scalp the head scalp and uh, there you get different potentials at different locations uh, on your head and you get uh, you can analyze them and you can extract useful information from this brain signal so now we looked at what are signals now the next question is what is signal processing okay so you can extract useful information from the signal that is called signal processing. What kind of information you may extract? Let's say a very simple example. When you go to a doctor, when you are sick, the doctor, they will look at your pulse rate. They may look at your, uh, uh, they may use a stethoscope to look at your uh, heartbeat. And they, they use all those measurements to make some diagnosis, to make some inference about your health. Inference means when you deduce something from uh, the data, from the signal processing. So when you deduce that, okay, you are sick or you are healthy. Then another kind of signal processing, as you have seen people uh, in the DJs, they have a huge, uh, a large panel of knobs and buttons, which they are playing with as they are playing music. They keep turning the knobs to adjust different sounds 
to play different sounds, to introduce different kinds of effects in the sound, uh, in different, different kinds of musical sounds. That is a kind of signal processing done with the help of these knobs and controllers. Then you have speech signal which you can process using available softwares like Prat. So this software, what does it do? So this, this software called Prat. What does it do? It will take your audio file as the input and you can do variety of manipulations. You want to change the frequency of sound, you want to make it faster or make it slower. If I'm speaking, I can, I can speak very fast or I can speak very slow. And you can process my recorded audio to make these changes using some softwares like Prat. Then another kind of signal processing is Google. So you can, this can process text signals very efficiently. You can give some text signal, uh, some keywords you put in, and it will find out the relevant documents. This is the text signal processing or simply text processing. Then you have image processing in which you have original image, some image, and then you can apply different kinds of signal processing techniques or image processing techniques to extract different kinds of information. For example, in this uh, uh, in this example, it is the, the, the uh, image processing system is extracting edges from the image. And using these edges, you can do something more useful. Next, signal processing. Signal processing is a very old area. People have been working since um, decades, if not centuries. Um, and let's take the example of speech recognition. People have used simple speech, simple speech processing techniques to come up with speech recognizers, which means given, a, given an audio signal, they can tell what kind of uh, vowel or what kind of phoneme is being spoken. Phoneme means vowels or consonants. So what kind of phoneme is being spoken? There is an example. There's a nice book by Ken Stevens. It's a thick book. It's called Acoustic Phonetics. He's a, he was a professor in MIT. Uh, and he came up with uh, many, many sets of rules to basically read the spectrum or the spectrogram. So given the spectrum of the audio, he, can, he could just tell what vowel it is, a, a, e, e, u, anything. So just by looking at the vowel, he, looking at the spectrogram, he could tell what phoneme it is. And he tried to make s many handmade rules to automatically do speech recognition just by uh, uh, kind of defining these rules on uh, the spectral shapes of the audio. Then you have image segmentation or image recognition algorithms. So what is image segmentation? You have a picture and you want to segment, okay, where is the person, where is the tree, where is the hill, where is the sky, where is the grass? And you can do it automatically using uh, handmade rules which come from signal processing, which come from image processing. And there were, there were popular algorithms uh, how to extract uh, good descriptors of the image, how to uh, do segmentation in a very robust way. So then you have machine translation of text. You can write rules of translating the text from one language to the other language. And people did it from French to French to English and English to French. I think this was the first machine translation system made uh, for news data. So basically, if you if I give you news from French language, it could translate it to news in English, vice versa. Um, so this was done all using handmade rules. So as you can see in this uh, in this picture here, you have source text, you have morphological analyzer. So basically, the text is given. It will analyze the morphology, parts of speech tagging, then finding out the words of the lexical selection, then structural transfer from one language to the other language, and again the morphology is generated, 
then some post processing is done and finally you get the sentence in the target language okay this was all about signal processing a very short introduction to signal processing